We are sharing with you these ideas about Gauteng because we believe the future is in your hands. Our parents came here because they were looking for diamond. Our, Karen, our parents came here because they were looking for gold. Our parents came here because they were looking for platinum. That gold, that diamond, that platinum is gone. Our future diamond is you, young people. Our future platinum is you, young people. We want to invest in you. For you. These fresh ideas must propel young people to find a niche in the economy and transform it. The levels of entrepreneurship uptake among South African youth are still far too low when you compare us to our BRIC counterparts, I mean uh, BRICS uh, counterparts, and even worse when we compare to other uh, countries in the continent. Out of 10 young people working into NYDA offices, at least eight of those are looking for a job, and only two are interested in entrepreneurship. If we are to realize what the MEC said, that young people must stop earning salaries but must start paying salaries, we have to turn these numbers on their head and have more young people pursuing entrepreneurship and cooperatives instead of being seekers of, job, of jobs. This is the primary reason for the NYDA's grant program for young entrepreneurs. It is designed to minimize risk, to stimulate youth entrepreneurship. There are socioeconomic circumstances that inhibit majority of young people from progressing with their education and therefore those social economic circumstances must equally be addressed. Thirdly, our education system it can be a linear process grade 1, grade 12 university or university of technology it must have various exit points, including for those who will leave school at grade, with grade nine, into Tibet colleges. Their ceiling must not only be in Tibet colleges. Our system of education and training must be able to articulate, and articulation means that once you finish a certain level in college, you must be able to be absorbed in a university of technology and then university. Today, it is normal practice that if you come from the University of Venda, having passed second year, when you get to VETS, go to first year. Within the same band of higher education, we're not even talking about, and that is horizontal, Articulation. We're not even talking the vertical move. The high unemployment rate among young people, and I think that boils down to the state of our basic education system as well as a higher um, education at that level. So one of the important thing has been increasing the literacy rates, uh, increasing the numeracy rates and in ensuring that uh, the learners who are passing your grade 12 are actually much more empowered. Now, in the policy that we are having, one of the issues we are raising is that not everyone is going to reach metric. So what happens to those learners who basically uh, can't reach metric? What do we have as a country to ensure that they find ways of uh, uh, continue getting training? Mm. One of the issues we've raised in the policy is the issue of articulation that there is a need to, uh, to make sure that you, we don't have one way of uh, qualifying for getting or training or getting skills, that it's not only metric, but there should be another way, other ways that we are exploring in the policy to ensure that people have skills, rather than saying everyone has to go to a university.